Notion shopping list templates have two problems. Number one, not everyone should be associated with a meal planner. If I need to grab a toilet paper, that isn't going to be for lunch or dinner. And number two, no one focuses on the productivity of actually shopping at a store. Wouldn't it be nice to see where all the items are at once instead of going all the way to the right side of the store, back to the left, towards the front, and then deciding, oh, I forgot something again and walking all the way to the back. Well, my template solves both of these problems. Let's jump on Notion and build it. So we're going to start with a blank page. So click empty page and we're going to do slash database full page. And I'm just going to name this as Notion main shopping page. Now the first one over here and said name, I'm just going to have this as item. Then we're going to delete this tags. So we don't really need that. Instead, we're going to have a number over here, which is going to be quantity. Then we're going to have a checkbox. And we're going to put this over there and we're going to rename this as grabbed item. And we're going to pause on this because we need to build out another database, which by the way, we're going to start doing a relation and a rollup from. So just do that slash database. We're going to do a full page and what we're going to name this as department locations. Over as a name, we're going to have as a department. And then we're going to delete this tags again, and we're going to name this over here. It's a text and we're going to have location in store. So I'll show you guys how this works out. We're going to have a few different things. So let's say, for example, I need to grab spices. So we'll put Walmart spices and I'm going to just say it's an aisle 13. Thirteen. Let's say I want to go to the Publix deli, Publix deli for my local store that is the right side of the store so right store i want to grab public seafood seafood that's going to be center back store and let's add one more let's say we're going to grab dairy that's going to be in the back left right Great. And if you're building this from scratch, you can add in as many departments as you want for stores and also those locations. But I think four is a good start for this. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to drop back into this Notion main shopping page. And what we're going to do is actually create our relation within here. So go over here to the right. We're going to click relation. And then we're going to click over here to department locations. So you can see over here, it says related to department locations, limit, no limit. And I don't want really care if this shows or not on the department locations. So click add relation. So that is there. And then we're going to add in our roll up. So that way we can see specifically where in the store something is located at. So click this plus icon over here. Then we're going to go to roll up relation department locations and then property location in the store. Change this roll up and then do location over here. I'm going to change department location just to department just to make it a little bit nicer and cleaner. And lastly, we're going to have date. So add in one of those over here. So let's add a few examples in here so you guys can see that. So up first, we're going to have popcorn chicken. And then we're going to have a quantity of two department wise. I'm going to grab this over here and we're going to do Publix Deli location. It says right of the store and then date. I want to grab these this weekend on 12th up next. Let's say I want to grab lobster tails, so lobster tails quantity. We'll grab four of these department Publix seafood. It says center back of the store. And again, same date. What I can do also, if you guys don't know, is just drag this down over there. Awesome. And lastly, we're going to grab garlic powder quantity. I only need one of these right now. Department. We're going to grab this from Walmart Spices. You see aisle 13 populates. And then I don't want to grab this on the 12th. I'm not going to go to Walmart until the 14th. We're going to rename this view of the database. So instead of just table, we're going to have under here to buy. And then we're actually going to create a duplicate view. So that way these are the same. And then we're going to rename this one as purchase. Okay. And what we're going to do now is add in a filter. So you see how I have this checkbox over here as a grabbed item. Well, what I want to do is when it, this is checked, this item is going to be removed from this view and show up only on the purchase views. So to do that, 
we're going to have to do a filter for each of these. So go over to filter and we're going to do grabbed item. So to buy, you need to make sure it is unchecked. And then when you go over here to purchase, we're going to do the same thing. Filter, right? Grabbed item and then check. So this is all gone. So to show you guys how this specifically works, let's say you want to go over here and click grab item. All of these are gone because they are in the purchased section. Uncheck these and they are back. And one last thing, if you want to sort by location as you build out a much longer list, just go over here where either department or location, and then you just do a sort ascending or descending. So you can do sort ascending on this side of things. You can see aisle 13 shows up, center, back of store, right store. And you can also filter by date. So that way aisle 13 doesn't show up first if we're only going to be on the 12th. So you go over here to add filter and date. There's a ton of different options on here. So you can see is, is before, or after, anything like that is empty, is between. You can just do is, and then you can do on the 12th, and that is removed. Hope this template build was helpful. You guys should also check out this video where we went over 100 different Notion tips.